now and then, we kind of like to do things nice and easy. Like, come on. I don't even need to hear the audio of that. That is just an iconic image. Like, people overuse the word iconic, but Tina Turner and Beyonce standing next to each other doing the same move before they perform Proud Mary is iconic. With the passing of Tina today, at the age of 83, Beyonce shared an image from that performance at the 2008 Grammy Awards on her website and wrote, My beloved queen, I love you endlessly. I'm so grateful for your inspiration and all the ways you've paved the way. You are strength and resilience. You are the epitome of power and passion. We are also fortunate to have witnessed your kindness and beautiful spirit that will forever remain. Thank you for all you've done. Of that Grammy performance 15 years ago, executive producer Ken Elric told Variety today how that came about. So he had the idea of bringing the two forces together. So he first went to Tina and basically bribed her with the idea of, if Beyonce does it, will you do it? So Tina says yes. And then Beyonce immediately jumped at the chance, but not only just jumped at the chance, but created this whole intro for Tina. Historical women who have performed on this very stage. So Ken says that Beyonce came up with that monologue all on her own, telling Variety today, before they did the numbers, she came out on an empty stage and did this three or four minute monologue, set the music that led into Tina. But there is one legend who has the essence of all of these things. The glamour, the soul, the passion, the strength, the talent. I remember that it was very important to her and she wrote it and she asked me to look at it. I made a couple edits that I suggested to her, which I think she took, but basically this is all her. This was important to her to do this for Tina. Stand on your feet and give it up for the queen. So Tina entered and performed What's Love Got To Do With It, the Grammy winning song that went to number one. And at 44 years old, Tina set a record for being the oldest female to top the Billboard Hot 100. What's love got to do, got to do with it? But then B came out to join T for a historic collab. Today, Beyonce's mom, Tina Lawson, recalled this moment when Beyonce arrived to rehearse their Grammy team up. When I was a kid and I saw her tapes, I wanted to be like her. This is literally a dream for me because she is the ultimate. To actually be on the stage with her is crazy. Today, Tina Lawson wrote on Instagram. I remember this day like it was yesterday. It was the day that Beyonce was to rehearse with Tina Turner for the Grammys. We were both so excited, and when she arrived, we were told that she was in the other room. We all witnessed Beyonce turning into a five-year-old, actually skipping across the floor to embrace her. They had so much laughter these days, and it is one of Beyonce's best memories. Beyonce always talked about the two Tinas that she loved and admired. When I think of inspiration, I think of the two Tinas in my life. That's my mother, Tina, and of course, the amazing Tina Turner. Beyonce's mom also recalled when her daughter paid tribute to Tina Turner three years prior at the Kennedy Center Honors. I never in my life saw a woman so powerful, so fearless, so fabulous, and those legs. Tina writes, we had the chance to meet her there. She was lovely, she was bigger than life. Well, I liked a good job in the city. Beyonce's Proud Mary performance, which happened two years after her first solo hit, Crazy in Love, is seen as one of the moments that took Beyonce into another stratosphere as a solo artist, and it has 35 million views on YouTube. Big wheels keep on turning, turning, keep on burning. That solo performance was part of the reason that Tina agreed to the Grammy performance three years later. No one could have done Proud Mary better. She looked absolutely better than I ever did in my times. No, 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 but she's very curvy. And she can sing, and she knows, she knows what she's doing. I was very impressed. I felt proud because I felt someone has taken on the memory of my life in a really positive way. People use the phrase passing the torch a lot, and it doesn't always apply. But I mean, even beyond Beyonce's words, there's just no denying that Beyonce was and is influenced by Tina Turner. Beyonce was one of the first people I thought of when I heard of Tina's passing, and her tribute was very succinct and moving tonight. It's wonderful that we know that Beyonce was making Tina proud, and as she embarks on her Renaissance tour, Beyonce will continue to make Tina proud. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Beyonce's tribute to Tina Turner tonight? Hey!